سورة آل عمران سورة آل عمران Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala speaks about so many things and we're only going to pick a few little points by the will of Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala. Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala speaks about the importance of silence. Subhanallah. You know the words we utter, we are the kings. We are in control of the words we utter. The minute we've uttered them, they are in control of us. Remember that. Before you utter a word, you are in control of the word. The minute you utter that word, the word becomes in control of you. So Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala addresses this matter uh, twice in Surah Al Imran. Once with the story of Zakaria alayhi salam, and the second time the story of Maryam alayhi salatu wa salam. Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala says, when Zakaria was given the news that he was going to have a child, he felt a little bit embarrassed because he was old and so on. He says, Oh Allah, give me a sign. And Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala says, Ayatuka alla tukallima nasa thalatha ta'ayyamin illa ramza wa dhkur rabbaka kathira wa sabbih bil ashiyi wal ibkar. Allah says, the sign that we're giving you is not to speak to people except with some signs. And remember Allah a lot. وَذْكُرْ رَبَّكَ كَثِيرًا Increase the remembrance of Allah and declare His praise in the morning and in the evenings. You will achieve success. Allah will protect you. Allah will grant you contentment. Sometimes we speak too much. Sometimes we say things. Sometimes we end up becoming uh, vulgar, abusive with our mouths. It all comes back to haunt us. Sometimes we have a major problem, like in this case, Zakaria alayhi salam felt like he would probably be embarrassed. How is he going to face the people? Allah says, no problem. We are the ones who are going to take care of that. You just increase your closeness to us. Watch what we do for you. Let's go to this. Let's all do the same. Uh, when Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala has tested us with something difficult, we develop the relationship with Allah and look what He will do for us. Not all the time is silence golden, but at certain times, silence is definitely golden. May Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala grant us ease. So my brothers and sisters, here is another point of contentment. Watch your mouth, watch your tongue, number one. Number two, develop your closeness to Allah by declaring His praise a lot and by remembering Him often and you will see how Allah will calm you down. Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala will definitely give you the calmness. You know when you're quiet and you watch people say things and do things against you and about you, it depends what it is. There's no blanket rule to say be quiet about everything. But at certain times you need to think. Perhaps by you saying something, the problem might become bigger. Hence, it's better to just remain silent. And this is why Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala says in verse number 54 of Surah Al Imran, وَمَكَرُوا وَمَكَرَ اللَّهُ وَاللَّهُ خَيْرُ الْمَاكِرِينَ They plot and Allah plots and Allah is the best of planners. Allah's plan is definitely the best. People plot against you, they may plot against me, they may plot against whatever and whoever. The evil plot will only affect negatively those who have plotted it. Because Allah has a plot better than all of that. Allah knows. In fact, when we say the, the makr of Allah, we would actually translate it as the plan of Allah. For people, it's an evil plot. For Allah, it's not an evil plot. It's the counter of the evil plot known as the good plan. So Allah has a good plan to combat every evil plot. You just have to bear patience and take heed. The next time someone does something to plan your downfall, smile. Because your downfall or your success is solely in the hands of Allah. It's not in their hands. Allah has not kept your bread and your butter in the hands of someone else. But Allah has guaranteed that He will grant it to you. You know, elevation and izza comes from Allah. Uh, the downfall of a person comes from Allah and from themselves as well in the sense that if they were to do something silly, they are to blame. May Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala grant us all protection. What we've said today is absolutely important. Short words, you take lesson from what we've said and I, I, 
I promise you, you will achieve a lot of contentment, my brothers and sisters. May Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala grant us the ability to take heed and may Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala open our doors. Aqulu qawli hadha wa sallallahu wa sallam wa baraka ala nabina Muhammad wa salamu alaykum wa rahmatullahi wa barakatuh.